Hi everyone, it's Joey from Day Job Hacks and in today's video I want to talk about what it takes to make $15,000 a month from affiliate marketing. Okay, so when I first started making money online or at least trying to make money online, I thought it was impossible to even think about making, you know, three to four thousand dollars a month. Okay, that to me was a ton of money. That would, that would have changed my life at the time. And to me, I thought, wow, if I could ever get to that level, that would be amazing. And over the years, as I've continued to pay for traffic and learn new tactics and use different traffic sources, I've actually been able to get as high as two hundred thousand dollars in profits in one single month. So. Um, it is possible and I'm going to talk about what it takes to get to that level um, and even that um, considering 200,000 in one month is not as high as some of the affiliates I've met who are doing you know uh, 50 to 100,000 sometimes a day okay so how does how does it work and how do you get to those types of numbers um, when all you see really peddled online are these courses talking about you know how to make a couple hundred bucks a day um, and they're and they're teaching these methods that are you know they're gonna take you years and years to get down that road how, how do the people actually make these big giant numbers like leaps and bounds from you know a couple hundred bucks a day to you know you're talking a thousand two thousand three thousand bucks a day or more five ten fifteen twenty um, it all comes down to um, understanding the numbers and all that kind of stuff so back in the day when I first started I thought in order to get to you know let's say two hundred thousand dollars a month that I would have to, you know, have like 50 campaigns running. I'd have to have, a, you know, a massive server and like big, huge operation of people. But really, I'm talking lone wolf kind of income here, where a one affiliate can start making serious money. Okay, now don't get me wrong. Okay, this is not an easy thing. I'm not trying to come on this video and tell you, you know, this is super easy. This is more of a motivational video, trying to un. Um, unwrap kind of the mystery behind what it takes to actually get to those types of numbers okay so i'm going to cover uh three things that i think are important that you need to understand and and focus on and kind of talk about how you know it is possible to get to those numbers but i'm going to kind of blow out some of the the theories and and things that um you know are being thrown around and you know all these articles and videos and stuff okay so Let's just talk about $15,000 a month. That means you need to make about $500, and I'm talking profit here, a day, okay? So $500 profit a day. Um, let's talk first about traffic, okay? So traffic is the key here for any business online. If you are not getting traffic, you're not going to make any money, okay? So to make $500 a day, you are not gonna be able to start out um, as an affiliate you know, in your first week um, uh, doing organic traffic okay organic traffic means that free traffic the kind of traffic that I'm working on right now which is YouTube okay YouTube is an example where I do videos and I direct traffic back to a website which is a long-term game plan okay it's to build you know um, a brand it's to build credibility in the industry that are the niche that I choose to focus on in one of my projects okay which is the make money online niche I'm building a uh, a following on YouTube, it takes years of work, years of effort to build stability in terms of traffic that will come from search engines such as the YouTube search engine and Google search engine, building a blog and all that stuff. That is organic traffic, you know, I'm building social media. I love social media traffic and I'd like doing this. So this is a project for me that I enjoy doing, but I am not going to start making $500 a day anytime soon by doing these types of videos and doing blog posts and stuff like that. I know that from experience, okay? No matter what niche you choose, um, you're to, to start and think that you're gonna start making immediate cash by doing organic traffic is, is false, okay? So if you have time and you have extra time in your week to focus on a st stable project, building organic following, building a, a social media following and all that kind of stuff, then of course it is a good game plan. People are doing it. I am doing it right now. I, I always say, um, if, you're, if you're looking to succeed, look what other people are doing successfully. And I would not be doing this right now if I didn't think there was value in providing videos and help other people in my niche, okay? That 
that is the game plan of affiliate marketing and we're going to get that into that as soon as i get into what the um the next step is okay but first let's talk about traffic as i said so organic traffic is going to take um years okay to make 500 dollars a day so if you have time like i said in your spare time don't quit your job yet you know build a niche uh, website build a following in whatever niche you choose um, youtube is a good source of traffic uh, people watch my videos and it is a longer term um, game plan because people will continue watching my videos and continue with the content and i will earn residual money or not residual i guess it's more like somewhat passive i talked about passive income in another video you can check it up i'm going to check it out i'll put a link up here but it's one of those projects that i do long term and i'm not looking to get super rich it's just kind of one of those income streams and i enjoy doing it okay so now that we've talked about organic let's talk about what really matters and that is paid traffic you have to understand paid traffic if you want to get to the fifteen thousand dollars a month level without going crazy for two years trying to build an organic following okay so if you want to get into paid traffic then you need to focus on one single traffic source first i always say this and this is be, uh, mostly for newbies especially um, because or people with a low budget and they don't want to blow a whole bunch of money and risk capital in something that they don't, don't fully understand yet okay so like if, if you want to get into paid traffic the best bet is to start with say 500 to two thousand um, dollars the higher the, the more money you have to to lose is the better okay so um, you're not going to if you're if you're new to paid traffic then you you really need to understand that it's you know you're learning it's a learning curve so if you can take your budget and spread it over a longer period of time test more things inside one traffic source then you're going to learn a lot more about this traffic source that's why it's important to focus on one traffic source now for example um, paid traffic can can involve many things you have search traffic you have um, like Bing and Google, you have social media, which is Twitter, you know, YouTube is kind of social media. It's also, uh, you know, video traffic, but, um, and you have native ads, which is rev content, MGID, um, Taboola, Outbrain. Um, what else do you have? You have uh, push ads, propeller. There's so many different traffic sources. There's hundreds of traffic sources out there that you can buy ads from, probably thousands actually. So if you were to say you had a, uh, $2,000 to, to play with here and you tried to focus first on let's say Bing ads um, and, and you blow you know three or four hundred bucks testing a campaign out and then you're like okay well that, that didn't work let's go to the next one let's go to uh, Google search and try that and again you blew 300 there now you're, you're going through each traffic source blowing your money and you're not really learning anything you're, you're kind of just tossing your money around and testing and trying to you know throw a dart and hit the balloon way up the other side of the the room and maybe you're gonna you know one of these days it's gonna pop and you're gonna make a whole bunch of money okay not gonna happen what I highly recommend is you pick one traffic source okay now for me, when I started, I actually picked Bing ads, okay? And that's why I always tell people Bing ads is great because it's such a smaller, uh, it's, it's just kind of a small traffic source in terms of you can't really lose a whole bunch of money at first. Um, it's not gonna blow your budget instantly. It's, it's all keyword based, it's search traffic. So you, when people search into the Bing search engine, and if you're focusing on that keyword, then you pay for that ad and it, then the traffic will go to your website, okay? So that's just one example. Facebook is obviously one of the biggest platforms out there for affiliates. Um, and then you have the other platforms where you have native. I wouldn't suggest starting with native if you're just starting out because um, there's a lot of things and a lot of moving parts that you need to understand about you know, placements and bots uh, fake traffic, filtering, all this stuff, okay? So just start with the basics and learn one single traffic source, okay? So take your money, go there, and let's move on to the next step. So now that you've chose your traffic source, you've, you, you, you've got it in mind, now it is important to find, people say find an offer, but I'm, I'm gonna say you need to find a solution, okay? A solution for people on that traffic platform, okay? so. Um, whatever solution you, you come up with, you obviously need to have an offer. So for me, I focus mainly on CPA offers. These are costs per acquisition. They pay me uh, for leads or they pay me for, you know, filling out a short form. Maybe um, a dollar trial pays me 40 bucks US or whatever. I talk about this a lot 
inside powerhouseaffiliate.com training, which is a free training platform that you can join and, it'll, and you'll learn about CPA affiliate marketing, okay? And there's also some premium stuff in there as well that you can check out if, if you're interested in the free stuff first. But um, anyway, so CPA affiliate offers are what I use because I find they convert really well. Um, and they convert fast and you can get paid every single week and all that kind of stuff. So I focus on those types of offers and when I find an offer that's converting for the network, I need to find how this offer is going to help people, okay? So if I, for example, let's say there's a diet product or something, okay? So people are obviously wanting to lose weight, they want to be healthier, uh, so I need to create a, a a funnel or a web page that is going to tell people how this product is going to help them. So that is the third part of this strategy. So obviously you need traffic, you need an offer and a solution. Then we move into building out the funnel or the website. Now let's just be clear that for $15,000 a month, you can easily make $15,000 a month from a one page website, okay? You do not need a full out built funnel. You don't need to sign up the click funnels and then, you know, have all this massive like stuff going on. You can actually make that kind of money by sending all your traffic to one single landing page and, and it converts, okay? But you have to test landing pages and all that stuff, okay? Um, so once you've chosen the offer, like I said, you should start with CPA, but if you're building a, I just want to make this clear. If you're building an organic traffic project, okay, you should not be focusing on CPA offers. Um, and the, re the reason for that is because CPA offers come and go really fast, okay? Sometimes they'll be there and then a week later they'll be gone. So when you're on a CPA affiliate network, the offers will pause, they will change, the advertisers, you know, do something else and then the offer is dead. So if you're building a big long-term organic um, website, do not focus it on CPA affiliate offers, okay? Use offers that are long-term, maybe recurring subscription offers like, for example, for me, with a website about Make Money Online, I might be talking about AWeber, which is an uh, affiliate marketing or an email marketing platform that's been around for decades, okay? I might talk about other products that I use, like the server I'm on, which is Liquid Web. I'd talk about that, talk about spy tools that have been around for years and stuff like that, okay? So I'm not gonna be talking about CPA offers and trying to get people to sign up to a CPA offer on my website if I'm building organic traffic and a long-term strategy. However, you can make a ton of quick money with CPA affiliate offers if you know how to buy traffic. And that's why I use affiliate offers from CPA networks to buy traffic. And that's how you get to the $15,000 a month mark quickly is by focusing on offers that are gonna convert really quick and you can come in and I call it the smash and grab. So you just kind of buy traffic and you hammer a landing page with a bunch of traffic and you hope that it converts. If it doesn't, you test another landing page and you keep testing, you test new targets within all of the same traffic source. So you're learning more and more about this traffic source and how it works, where to get the, the audience that you need so that you can convert the offers on your landing page, okay? So if I was to just focus on this page and trying to switch pages and then I'm all also tr uh, you know trading traffic sources and trying different traffic sources just my budget is just going to go thin okay that is why I focus heavily on one traffic source okay at a time so I've spent uh, nearly three million on Google search ads. I've spent um, hundreds of thousands on Bing ads. I've spent millions in Facebook, but I've never just kind of been like, I'm gonna run this campaign at Bing, I'm gonna run this one at Google, this one at Facebook, and this one at the native. I'm always focused on one as a lone wolf affiliate. Now, if I had a big team, of course I could be, okay, you guys focus on this, you focus on that. Blah, 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 okay? As a lone wolf, to get to $15,000 a month, you do not need multiple traffic sources, okay? You just need to find a converting campaign and you need to be able to be making $500 profit a day, which usually results, um, you know, the ROI is what de depends on how, you know, how much money you need to spend to get to $500 a day. So if you're making 100% ROI, then you need to spend $500 a day in order to make $500 a day, okay? And a lot of these CPA affiliate campaigns run within, you know, the 30 to 100% ROI range. If you're over 100% ROI, it is time to celebrate, okay? So that is what you need. You need traffic, focus on one traffic source, 
If you're focused on organic traffic, then do not use CPA affiliate offers unless they've been around for decades. There are some CPA affiliate offers out there that have been around for decades. Make sure that you pick those ones when you're building a long-term project, okay? Um, if you are going for the paid traffic approach to make $15,000 a month, like I said, focus on one traffic source, Find the solution from one offer that is working from your network, ask your network what offers are working, then start building out your landing pages. You only need to test um, one landing page, or I mean, you need to test constantly, but you don't need to build an entire full out funnel to start earning money. Start small with a landing page, switch out the landing page, test out. Once you get that landing page working, then you can start thinking about building a funnel, a long-term email, uh, capture, you know, all that kind of stuff later. So on the last note, I wanna make it clear that when I spoke of making $200,000 a month, it was actually one of those things that I thought would be completely impossible, okay? When I first started affiliate marketing, like I said, okay? But to get to that 200,000, it was actually only one offer, one country that I focused on, and one traffic source, which was Facebook, okay? Facebook is a giant for traffic, okay? If you can find a campaign that is working, you can easily scale it by just jacking your budget, try, trying more ads, trying more ad sets, you know, different targeting. Um, this is one traffic source that can take years to learn, but as you start, you can actually start very small as a newbie, okay? You can actually get in there. They have free training at the Facebook Blueprint. Check that out. Um, read some of their training, go through some of their videos, maybe take the test if you want. And that was one traffic source that you can actually literally scale to hundreds of thousands of dollars per month in revenue or profits, depending on whether you have a really good ROI or not. Um, and you can actually do extremely well. Now, of course, on paid traffic, you can also lose a lot of money. So this isn't um, one of those videos, like I said, that it's all happy la-la land, okay? You can actually lose a ton of money. So be careful when you're setting your budget. Be careful when you're, you know, firing it up and going to sleep at night. Make sure you know that you can wake up tomorrow morning with no money left, okay? So it's important that you, you watch it closely. This isn't one of those passive income kind of deals. This is something that you need to actually be very engaged with for paid traffic but to make those numbers is very possible for one affiliate lone wolf affiliates can make those types of numbers easily so if you want to see some more of this stuff um, you know some examples of me doing campaigns some live case studies and all that kind of stuff on different paid traffic sources go to powerhouseaffiliate.com or go to the blog dayjobhacks.com there's some more content there that you can check out um, as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was a quick one just uh, kind of motivating people to understand that it is very possible for one person sitting behind a desk to generate thousands of dollars every month um, with paid traffic. Okay, and um, the amount of work is uh, not as much as if you were to try and build yourself a big organic social media following. But social media and organic followings are important if you want to build more stability in your business, okay? So hopefully, uh, again, you like that. Please subscribe below, comment, ask any questions, and I will respond. See you in the next videos. Organic. This happens a lot. If you're focused. So on the last note. What I really f realized the one month that I saw so on types of numbers easily, um, not. <clears throat>